from koala to relaxed knapsack koala approach. Now we go back to the battery revenue optimization. Our goal is to maximize the return, but there is a condition that the total cost should not be larger than Cmax. To take it into account, one can introduce a penalty function, which is equal to zero when the total cost is less than Cmax and equal to the difference between the total cost and Cmax otherwise. We need this to prevent the states with the value of total cost larger than Cmax from realizing the maximum of our function. As you may notice, the larger is the difference between the allowed cost and total cost, the bigger is the penalty. And the objective function, which we are going to maximize, is the total return plus penalty. And the penalty is either zero or a negative number. So, how to apply Kuawa for the Knapsack problem? Let's consider the building blocks. First, we can still keep the Hadamard gates and the mixer. The Hamiltonian will consist of two parts, but the quantum adiabatic theorem works for any Hamiltonian. The block, which is called phase return, encodes a total return, the first part of the Hamiltonian. The subsequent four operators are required to encode the penalty. First, we calculate the total cost for every combination of Z and store it in the data qubits in a form of QRAM. It is called cost calculation. If you want to know more about QRAM, you are welcome to watch my video about quantum random access memory. During the constraint testing, we mark the states with a total cost larger than Cmax. Then we perform a penalty dephasing. In other words, we subtract the penalty value from the marked states. Reinitialization is required just to reset the data and flag qubits. 